it's very important that, um, that we have the right systems and processes in place that allow us to have a bit more control. So with the beverage monitoring system, um, we've got flow meters on our bulk beer and we've also got on hardwired ETNs, spirit dispensers, they're also linked to our beverage monitoring system. And we've also got wireless borers as well if we need to have them. Help reduce liquid cost by I think around one and a half to two percent, purely because of I went from thirty three to thirty one percent, purely if there's gas issues, if your beer's pouring too too heavy, if there's training issues. How it works is is every time it's just a flow meter on your beer system. So every time someone pours a beer, it tracks like three hundred or two hundred and eighty five mils of liquid has gone through a flow meter in the cool room. So then that is interfaced with your point of sale system. So if a sale on that tap, if the register in that area hasn't rung up a sale, then when you get the graph on the sales, you'll have your sales line and you have your flow line. They should mirror each other. Now, if ever you get any variances, you can, you can drill down and have a look at the time exactly where that happened, and then you can go to the cameras and have a look and exactly see what the issue was at that time, whether it's just the gas issue or whether, whether someone poured way too much beer as a training issue, all sorts of stuff, or if, if, if a staff person's given a drink away. The best thing about it, it's the ability to, to the detail of the tracking of all the discounts. That's, that's for me, that, is, that was the, the main reason initially that we got we liked the system and we looked at other systems and the, the detail for reporting was by far and away the best system that I'd seen.